Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name's Steve and I build gardens. Today I'm in my vegetable plot and I'm just cleaning up after the winter. Get things going. Uh, I just pulled this carrot. And I gotta tell you, I mean, it's got a little dirt on it and that was okay, but the carrot itself is delicious. Forget the variety. This is that um, that variety uh, that's got the purple, the white, and the orange mixed in. So this was seeded last year, and a couple of them I didn't pull, and here they are coming up. And they're already in the ground, so that's a nice little treat. What else do we have from last year? We have a little bit of Swiss chard here. I think this one's like Bright Horizons or something. Sir? Vegetable garden, year round. Oh, a little bitter. And then uh, over here, I've got my nursery that I healed in for the winter to protect it. Some spruces. Um, I get these at like $5 a piece and they're only about this big when I get them. I grow them out in these pots and then plant them around. Norway spruce, deer resistant, shade tolerant. Good plant, good, good tree. These are uh, Juniperus virginianas here. That's uh, Eastern red cedars. And uh, some other things, some white pines in here that I, I grab sometimes. And then I've got a little Ilex opaca here. It's got a little bit of leaf blotch on it. But. So this is a little nursery I've got. Um, some vinca, some pack of sandra leftovers for some jobs. But the idea is to, uh, to get in here and uh, start cleaning this out, get it ready. Probably plant some peas today, probably get my spinach in. Um, and uh, this is a, a little lath house that I built. Nice place to chill out in the morning. So uh, right now it's a, it's a mess, but I think within a couple weeks it'll look pretty nice. All right, we've got a couple plots done here. So that, that's what it all needs to look like. I think I'm gonna put boxes around these this year. Just keep it easy. This path material is just sand. I'm gonna to try to recreate what they did at Luxembourg Gardens in Paris, which is this nice gravel mix sand thing that they have going on over there. I mean, it's not Luxembourg Gardens, but it's it's pretty damn close. Uh, so that's a good plot. And then over here, this is where I grow on these wires. These wires wrap around, they go through these eyelets here and uh, over to here. And then these get all cantaloupe. So this whole, this thin bed against the rail here is all cantaloupe and uh, some small watermelons sweet sweet cantaloupe so now i just gotta do the same over there and uh i'm wearing my john prine jason isbell shirt today blow up your tv build a little garden feed them on peaches two of the best songwriters america has ever seen okay all right so garden's cleaned up Feel good about that you know, it's not perfect but it's good i brought down the uh, cold frame so we'll put some spinach in there i'm also thinking i'm going to put some spinach outside it and see which one does does better but this is just an old window i put a handle on it and most importantly i've got a couple little uh flippity doodads there to uh lift this thing in the morning because if I leave for the day and the sun hits that, it's just gonna cook whatever's inside. So problem with the cold frame is it doesn't rain inside. So I've got a water inside here. So now I've got to have a water source, but it's nice when it's uh, full of spinach um, in 30 days from now. Uh, I've got all the beds kind of prepped out. This area I'll probably rototill, um, bucket in a barrel. And these are the tools, very little bending over today, very little handwork. Did most of it with these. Today's uh, video is sponsored by old antique rakes that you find at a 
garage sale. Thank you, Old Antique Rakes, for sponsoring today's video. This gate, it doesn't look like a gate, but it is way back here. Got a couple of trees over here. See that wheel right there? See that wheel? It's attached to that board. So I can drive my lawn tractor in here with a wagon on it, and this guy just pulls across like so. You get the picture. And then now, now it doesn't look like there's a gate there. It's a Stevo gate. I like building gates, like this one over here. And make sure you put the X, uh, the, the X, the Z in the right way. It has to go from the bottom corner on the hinge side up to hold this side from sagging. You know, you can put an X in there just to make it look even, but that board is there structurally. And then I got the little gizmo -y doodad here to hold that. I was getting rabbits down through there last year, so I had to do that. All right. Happy spring.